Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Tinsley, and if you didn't know that before, then you should totally change that and subscribe to my channel. So I apologize about my room. It's a bit messy. I'm just not gonna talk about it. Um, in today's video, I kind of wanted to go over the Zio heart monitor patch that I am wearing right now. I talked a little bit about it in my previous video of my migraine journey. That video is definitely on the longer side because it goes over a lot, but I kind of wanted to just go over it again for anybody who maybe missed that video or who was curious about it because I'm very curious about this like and how it all works and everything. I also wanted to film this video just because I had a lot of questions going into this. So I was looking up a lot of YouTube videos that didn't have answers to my questions. So in case you're wondering the same things that I am, then I hope this helps. I have this Zio heart monitor patch kit. First of all, we're going to talk about why I got this put on. I deal with migraines and I don't know if this correlates to them or if it correlates to like the medicine that I was taking for them. It could be something completely separate. It could be something with my thyroid. It could be my heart just like not having a regular heartbeat. Um, and that is what this little handy kit is all about and trying to figure out. And I find this kind of stuff so interesting. I love learning about this type of thing. I just think it's so crazy that, you know, something so small can like just like help and pinpoint like what is going on. And I know that a long time ago, you used to have a bunch of monitors like stuck onto you. Like if you've ever gotten an EKG, it's when they like put a bunch of like stickers on you and then there's like wires that attach to them you know you used to have to carry around like a little box just depends there's so many different tools and equipment out there to do these types of things which is so cool and I'm really glad that this is the type of stuff that I had to use because I would not want to be carrying around wires all day every day this is what the patch looks like little Zio patch I think that you can get it sent to your house and like you can put it on yourself I went to the doctor complaining about some symptoms that I was having which included difficulty breathing difficulty swallowing chest pain chest pressure just like the urge where I couldn't get a breath, felt out of breath, kind of had a few sore throats here and there, and this is what they gave me. Fair warning, if you have these symptoms, be prepared to take a COVID test and to not be able to go see your regular doctor until 10 days after your symptoms have first started because that is what happened to me and that is like the fifth time that I've ever had to get a COVID test and yeah, not the best. Anyways, so I went in, they decided that this is what they were gonna do to help monitor it and just kind of see if there's anything weird going on and if not, then we can move on to something else, you know? This is like the first step. I also got my blood drawn for like thyroid things and those results just aren't back yet. I'll probably keep y'all updated. I know that not very many people watch my videos but it's okay so when you go in they have these Zio patch kits and inside of them comes with this and basically what they have to do is they will shave it or they'll just like clean up the area to make sure that it's all good then they will abrade the skin with sandpaper which it's not actually that bad at all <laughs> i was watching so many people's videos they're like it's literally as painful as it sounds i have a high pain tolerance i mean i guess it kind of sounds painful it's like rubbing sandpaper against your skin they do I want to say 40 times on each side, so like 40 one way, 40 the other way. And then they will clean the area again with alcohol wipes. And that was like the most painful part because it's like alcohol on like a fresh wound-ish area. It's not like, it, it didn't bleed or anything, but it can irritate your skin a lot. A lot of people can get rashes. Then they will stick the patch on, pull the sticky sides off, and then you have to kind of like massage it into your skin for about two minutes so that like the adhesive will stay and stick and that uh, it won't fall off. So we did that. And when the lady was trying to turn it on, it didn't light up and it's supposed to light up green and like flash, I think five times. It didn't do that. So we had to take it off and then do like the whole thing over again. Although they didn't have to like redo the whole sandpaper stuff. So then we get another one, we put it on, everything's going good. And then that night it started buzzing and I was like, I don't know if that's normal. And I also didn't know if it was supposed to light up every time you push the button because I thought it was. And like, I was just so confused. I should have asked more questions when I was there and it didn't say in here and I was that's one of the things that I was looking up and I couldn't figure it out. So then I messaged, we have this thing called my chart where I live. It's like how you can contact your doctors. I messaged her and I was like telling her what's going on. She was like, can you come back in? We'll get it all checked out tomorrow. So that's what I did. And of course it was not working properly again. So then they had to do, this time they had to do everything over. They had to redo the sandpaper, redo the alcohol wipes, redo it all, which um, wasn't the pl most pleasant thing. Cause like it was already an irritated part of my skin that had to be re-rubbed and re-sandpapered. It's okay. Like it's fine and they were just also stumped they were like oh my gosh like this has never happened and like this is the third one that we have to put on you and I was like well just so you 
know with me that will happen a lot i have horrible luck and i will be that one percent that you never see they re put it back on and everything and all was good and for some reason in my head i kept having this thing where i was like it's supposed to light up every time you push it so i ended up calling irhythm technology because that is who it makes these and i just called their like customer service line and asked and they said no like all it's supposed to do is click it's just a little click like you, you can feel it you can push it as long as it's clicking and everything um it's not supposed to make any sound it's not supposed to light up it's just a little click and you're all good so basically how this works is every time that you have a symptom so for me my symptoms are usually fast heart rate difficulty breathing or swallowing lightheadedness dizziness and like chest pain so whenever I have one of those symptoms I will push the button it's literally just this like this whole little area is just what you would push and you just click it and I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not having a symptom right now you log it in a little booklet so the booklet why do they say it like that inside of the box it comes with this little booklet inside of the booklet it gives you kind of just like how you're supposed to use it you can also get a my Zio app on your phone which in my case, it might have been better, but I'm already like halfway through, so it's fine. You can do pretty much everything that you would normally. If you're gonna go on a run and you sweat a lot, like maybe don't do that when you're wearing this because the more that you sweat and the more moisture that will get under it, the more likely it is gonna fall off quicker. I've taken like three showers with it, um, but I take like five minute showers and I don't face the water usually. In the booklet, it comes with this little sample side and then there's 14 pages that you can use to log all of your things. So every time that you push the button, you will log it in here. All of this says, I pressed the button on, then you put the date and the time. You check off one or more of the symptoms that you're having, which include anxious, arm or neck pain or tingling, chest pain or pressure, dizziness, fainted, lightheaded, pounding, fluttering or racing, shortness of breath, skipped beats, or irregular beats, or you have a box to check for other, which in my case is like difficulty swallowing. For this duration, it lasted one minute or less, 10 minutes or less, an hour or less, or an hour or more. And then you will put what you were doing while it happened. People will usually wear this, I think, between 24 and 72 hours, or it can be up to two weeks, and that is what mine is. That's really all there is to it. Once you're done with it, you will peel it off yourself. They give you a adhesive tape remover pad in the back. This is the adhesive, and then you will place the heart monitor right here along this, and then it gives you a little sticker to seal up this box with. I already has like the prepackaged mail ticket. Why can't I think of what that's called? Y'all know what I mean. I'm not that educated in the science behind this or the technology behind this. I do believe that this is just to record it but then these i believe are the sensors this monitor records every heartbeat from the moment it turns on till you turn it off if you forget to push the button while you're having a symptom it's okay if you forget to log it in the book but you push the button while you're having a symptom that's okay pushing the button it'll just like mark like this is when she pushed the button that means that there was something going on during that time and like they can like you know be all sciencey and smart and read all of that. The only issue that I'm having with it is that I have to wear it for about 14 days. And in my case, I have about, let me back this up with some actual facts. So I have about three to seven of these episodes, I guess you could say, per day. So the first day that I got this, I pushed the button seven times, which is half of the pages that I have for the entire 14 days. So that was an issue. I'm not really sure what to do about that. I'm just keeping a log in my phone of everything that it asks you in there. I put the date, I put the time, I put the symptom, I put how long it lasted for and what I was doing. My plan is just to print this all out and then I will attach it in the box before I send it back and like probably just write a little note and be like, I didn't have enough pages, I'm sorry. And then I'll bring a copy of it to my doctor's appointment when I go. I don't know if this helped anybody or if it was interesting to anybody. It's an interesting thing. I just wanted to talk about this and share my experience, document it. Um, if you are somebody who is dealing with this and who has it on and you know, I just wish you the best and I am sorry that you have to wear it. It's probably not the most exciting and fun thing ever, but I do hope that everything is okay with your heart. You got this, you know, just push through. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're all having an amazing morning, afternoon, or nighttime, and I hope to see you in my next video.